Happy birthday to you. Yes. We got a nice speech. We don't have to reunite. I would like to say. <laughs> All right. Remember, it's my party. So take over the party. Yeah, here's the Leah. Here's the married you. to the mob, babe. You're definitely married to the mob now. <laughs> I was actually warned about Elise, that she's not a girl's girl. I never cozied up to her. You know what? She's just not a good person. She's not a girl's girl. I don't know who you are. Are you serious? You're going to walk away like you don't know, you know who I am? Hold on. Ramona, don't leave, please. Ramona, please stay. It was such a moment also when you described sitting in the jail cell and for the first moment, really, connecting with your dad and thinking the shame that you were feeling, you could honestly, for the first time, understand a little bit of what he possibly was going through that you never well, listen, realized. He had 10 years of craziness as, as a drinker and he got into trouble and he got arrested and, and you know, he had shackles on his ankles. And as I'm sitting there, I'm looking down at my ankles. Feeling and I said, oh my God. Now I can start to understand the pain and the struggle that he went through, you know? And that's why he's... I just ran across some pictures of him. I miss him so much. My father was everything to me. He was my rock growing up. My father struggled with alcohol. It was very difficult for me and my family and my mother. Eventually he stopped and AA saved his life. And I'll forever be proud of my father for that. There's my daddy. Look at how oh, much I look I like my father. That. Oh, you really do. Now can understand him so much more, I feel like, than I ever was able to as a young adult. The struggles, they were real. And I know how real they are because I've had the same struggles and he's not here today. But I am. Not unlike when I met a lot of my friends here at this table, do you feel a connection, right? I've gone through a lot of things as women do. So Dorinda and I danced the night away. We never lost our embrace. And we've been friends ever since. So we relate, we love each other, and we support each other. This toast that Luann is giving is going on forever. That's what we do as women. Yeah. And uh, I love all you men at the table tonight. Why are we talking about Luann's life and about Luann now? Are we going down memory lane with Luann at Dorinda's birthday party? Diva much? Because there's one more gorgeous than the other. Good job, Dave. Oh. She's ruining the party. This is about Dorinda, not about you, Luann. Hannah, your mother knows how to make a family, doesn't she? Uh, I'm not done yet. Just sit down. When I'm done, I'll hand you the mic. It's not a cabaret show. You make a piece of paper. Yeah, you're making a 10-minute speech. Don't rush me. Sit down. I'm, I'm winding it up. Does that make you feel better? Happy birthday to you. This is a show. Happy birthday to you. It never fails. <laughs> it's just that it's so on cue. Hey, it's your birthday. Happy birthday to you. I think she pops out of various birthday parties all over New York. People at a clam bake up. People, people getting nice for your birthday. People getting a new bread out for you. Car wash app. Your birthday to you. It's, it's like something out of a Saturday Night Live skit. <laughs>
And uh, what did I say? You did. And you know what? I called her. I, I had her phone number the minute she walked in the door. And it wasn't 212. Right. You know what? She's just not a good person. She's not a girl's girl. The issue started with Elise when I brought her into this whole friend group. She just was all about the other girls. She was like a friend jumper. I don't trust her as far as I can throw her. Mm -hmm. I think she's manipulative. I think she's not genuine. And um, she disgusts me. There you go.